Hi, Trinity. Hey, I just got back from vacation. I was off the grid, no internet or uh, phone connection for the past week, and no razor. So, it's good to be back. We want to let you know about a special event coming up, and that's the installation service for Pastor Randy Roselle. It's on Sunday, August 27th at 4 o'clock p.m. here at Trinity, and we'd like to invite everyone to come and welcome Pastor Roselle and his family to Trinity. There'll be a light reception afterwards with snacks, and that's all I needed to hear. You know, I thought an event like this might have hors d'oeuvres, because it's kind of fancy, you know? Hors d'oeuvres seemed in order. But I guess Pastor Roselle is more of a snack sort of guy than an hors d'oeuvre sort of guy. So I think that's good, at least as far as I'm concerned. So please join us on Sunday, August 27th, 4 o'clock p.m. for the installation service of Pastor Roselle. Now here is some information about our congregational care ministry at Trinity. And here's Pastor Warman. Hi, I'm Pastor Warman at Trinity. I'm responsible for pastoral care here. When people think of that, they think typically of just the pastors. At Trinity, it involves more people than that. That includes people of all sorts, elders, who are beginning to make some shut-in visits with me, and I'm grateful for that. Uh, people that visit in the hospital and nursing homes, people who pray, people who are on the alert team and who have served in Stephen ministry, each one is important in the body of Christ. You all have a gift. Some have a caring gift. And we'd love to include you in caring for other members and some non-members too. Sometimes family members go into the hospital and they appreciate our visits. Thank you again for your work in serving the people of God. When you go into the hospital or nursing home, you may have other visits besides pastoral visits. And we just like to inform you about that, but also to include you if you have those caring gifts. One such example is Ginny Miles. Ginny has been serving for the last few years in making visits with the pastoral care team. And she has some words to share with you about that. I visit people that are shut in. So they may be living at assisted living or long-term care facility um, permanently and others I visit that are in the hospital or maybe they're at a facility for, for rehab. Um, so it could be short term. Um, but I sort of put it like visiting your next door neighbor, sort of um, uh, just going to, to say hi and see how they're doing and to make the connection. Um, it's like uh, reminding them that uh, it's, we're their church family and we haven't forgotten them. We think about them, we pray about them, we visit them and because uh, it's a lonely time sometimes, especially the, the long, long time away from home, sometimes weeks, sometimes months. And uh, it's just amazing though, the, the people, the members I visit, they're, 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 they're courageous. They, they have such faith and strength and hope and, and it just shines through them. So I'm uplifted when I go visit them. There is a great need. Um, there's times when pastors are very busy, and, and not just because of extra people in the hospital, but everything that's going on with what they're doing, uh, funerals, weddings, you know, so, so many things. And, and so we do need more. We have a few of us, um, but we could always use more. And if you're interested and, you're, and you still have questions or you're not quite sure about it, just give me a call. I'd, I'd be happy to share with you. We're providing an information session for people who would like more information. Doing that this weekend, August 13th at 10 o'clock and then at 1230, and also on August 20th next week the same times, 10 o'clock and 12.30 in the Resurrection Chapel. Hope you can join us if you have a caring gift. We'd love for you to be included in that. We'll provide the training, explain how everything happens. Thank you for your consideration.